Okay, check this out. I got no job, no prospects. I'm days away from being thrown out of my crib. No family. No friends. Right. Well, it looks like you got quite a list going on for you now. Yeah. I like to see God turn all of that around. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Say you had nothing. If someone offered you a, a job to pay real good, but you wasn't exactly sure it was legal, would you take it? Well, first, I'd make sure if it was legal or not. Okay. So say you knew it wasn't totally legal, but you weren't going to do it long or nothing. I mean, like, just long enough to make a couple hundred dollars. It'd be like making $200 for almost nothing. A lot of money. I'd take it. You would? Absolutely. You said you'd be looking for a home. In prison, they'll give you a roof over your head and a roommate to boot. All right, all right, I get your point. Son, you go to jail, you'll be an ex-con. Then who'll hire you? I am an ex-con. And you're right, don't nobody want to hire me. Well, maybe I can help you out there. <laughs> no miracle worker, but I know somebody who is. I don't have time for talk like that. My mama used to talk like that. And what did it get her? Look, I just need to handle my business. Well, I just want to help any way I can. But you need to put your life, the good and the bad, into God's hands. He'll handle your business. You just got to trust him. Thanks again, Mima. Wait a minute, I'm coming. Why such a hurry? It's only 8 o'clock. Yeah, uh, uh, I got a big day tomorrow. Well, maybe this will help free up part of your day so you can do something for me. Why are you doing all this? What do you want from me? I don't want from you, Tommy. I want for you. Listen, there's a city council meeting tomorrow night. Now meet me at the courthouse at 5. Why? Well, you just have to show up to find out, won't you? <laughs> Order! Well, now, before you go to vote to raise our taxes, a bid was submitted by Harfus Environmental Waste Management that's a whole lot cheaper than the one we have now. And they specialize in recycling. Does the city have something to gain by keeping the contract we have now? When up to now, it's given us some pretty poor service. <clears throat> Mima, you should run for president. <laughs> now, you didn't get anything you didn't deserve. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and don't think I did that for free. This is Tommy. He's thinking about coming to church with me. I am? I remember the first time I went to church with Mima. My life hasn't been the same since. My name is Amid Hafiz. Oh, nice to meet you. Well, now that you have that contract, you're going to need a lot more employees to keep up with all that work. Mm -hmm. And I think Tommy's looking for work. Oh, uh, yeah, but I ain't trying to be no trash man. <laughs> no, no, as a recycling regisseur. Recycle? What? It's French. Um, I tell you what. Fill out this form. Bring it to me 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. The uh, address is on the application. Thank you, Mima. Thank you. Today would be nice, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, this, this don't make no sense. I mean... I don't even have no information to put out. Oh. Tommy? Look, I'm not stupid, all right? Is there somebody else in there talking? Oh, now, don't get proud on me. Pride brings a man low. If you need help, all you got to do is ask.
I need help. It's highly important that you treat everyone with respect, even if they don't show it to you in return. People will treat you like a servant, but that's all right, because you are a servant, a public servant. Wait, 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 wait a second. I, I thought you said I was going to be a, a recycler of Reggie, Reggie something. Register, and you will be, as soon as you learn to serve. Remember, the greatest person who ever lived was also a servant. cans like that? As soon as I know I can trust you with the small things, you get bigger and better things to do. Huh? Hi. Forty-nine-three. Let them praise his name in the dance. Amen. Amen. to take this opportunity to remind you that I asked each of you to invite a friend to attend the screening of a very powerful film that would be shown here Sunday evening. Now, I'm not trying to embarrass you. Well, then again, maybe I am. But how many of you invited or are still intending to invite a friend to this event? Let me see a show of hands. Listen, this is the young man I was telling you about. Tommy has a voice that belongs in your choir. Ah, uh, really? Well, we desperately need tenors, don't we, Mima? Yeah, that is true. <laughs> you know what, man? You're more than welcome to stop by any Thursday for choir rehearsal, all right? Oh, cool. All right. Nice meeting you, T. Hey, you too. All right, man. Stay home. Oh, all right. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. This is my granddaughter, Leo. Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> you too. Hey, Robert. <laughs> the car's running. Now, is this the one with or without the handy red siren? Uh, I got my car out of the shop yesterday. Thank you, Jesus. So, Mark, tell me about yourself, man. You married? Oh, no kidding, huh? Me? No, 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 no. But, no, but that, that is the reason I took this job. Because I heard it was a way to meet women, you know what I mean? Hey, you're not supposed to leave us in there. Never mind. This is a day Jesus and me. Hey, yo, baby G. I, I, I mean, uh, G Smooth. You know that guy? Ah, oh, baby, that's a little business thing. Look, won't you? I'll get you something nice, mm -hmm. all right? And you can model it for me later, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, hurry up. Hurry, 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 hurry Hey, up. Mark, watch the truck, all right? I'll be right back. Hey, go, go check me out. You see I landed me a gig, right?